heart valve replacement, our heart has four valves in it, and commonly we operate on, on two of the valves, either the mitral valve or the aortic valve on the left side of the heart for patients as they age, they, they develop degenerative disease of the valve. So either the valve becomes uh, regurgitin or leaks or it becomes narrowed or obstructed and we call that stenosis. And uh, of the two valves I would say most common in this country, we operate on patients with aortic stenosis or narrowing of the aortic valve. And so it's a mechanical problem. The valve doesn't open well, so the heart is pumping through a reduced opening. So the treatment is to replace the valve. So the general symptoms of heart valve disease are um, shortness of breath or, or shortness of breath with exertion, uh, sometimes chest pain, chest tightness, and also specifically with aortic stenosis, people can develop what we refer to as syncope or they might get lightheaded or dizzy or even pass out when they uh, stand up quickly. So assuming it's aortic stenosis, the, the main option is aortic valve replacement. Historically, that's been with conventional heart surgery, open heart surgery, whether through a, a full sternotomy incision or a minimally invasive approach uh, to get to the valve. But in either event, uh, the heart has to be stopped and the patient maintained on cardiopulmonary bypass. The valve is cut out and then we uh, sew a new valve in there. So, you know, over the last 10 to 15 years, even longer in Europe, uh, technology has, has evolved and we now have valves contained within stents. So we can perform an aortic valve replacement uh, completely non-invasively with catheters. It's the so-called transcatheter aortic valve replacement, which we commonly perform nowadays. So you know, as I said earlier, historically, the treatment for aortic valve replacement with, was with conventional heart surgery, but with the transcatheter aortic valve replacement, we were at first able to offer that procedure to patients who were either considered inoperable and not candidates for regular surgery, or, and then high-risk patients uh, with regular surgery. That has evolved over the last several years to be able to offer that uh, procedure to patients who we considered intermediate risk with regular heart surgery. And now the latest uh, trial has been completed and will uh, probably uh, receive FDA approval for even low risk patients with aortic stenosis will be able to qualify for a transcatheter aortic valve replacement. So, uh, if Assuming that with a transcatheter aortic valve replacement, prognosis is excellent. It's very non-invasive. It's a catheter based approach most commonly from the groin. Um, the procedure usually takes a couple of hours and if things go well, patients could, can go home from the hospital in a day or two and really resume full activity within a week or so.